So in this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, get access to GitLab on our Sprite server. So you notice this is an HTTPS uh, to secure uh, website, and it's using port number 8443. So there's the URL shown in here. What you're going to do is start creating yourself a new user account. Um, fill in the information down here. Sign up. Um, notice there's a message that says, hey, we sent you an email. You need to go verify and click to activate your account. So we will do that. Email should look like this. Confirm your account. Once your account's confirmed, you'll be taken to the home page. Uh, then there's a little trick that we're going to have to set up here. So go look at Explore Projects, and we're looking for a specific project here. Um, it wasn't shown before, so we clicked All. Let's filter Git. The, this is the project we're looking for, Git Cert. I'm going to explain what that is in a second. Um, we use uh, HTTPS uh, instead of SSL, to, or instead of SSH, to uh, clone repositories, work re with repositories. So we're using the HTTPS access, um, and that will give you the path right there in that box for how to access this thing. Now then, there's a little trick on the very first time. Uh, you, you, because we're using self-signed certificates, we have to download those certificates, and Git will normally give you an error unless you specify this uh, SSL verify equal false. So what we just did in that clone was grab a copy of those certificates, and now when we're setting the path to look at those certificates, so that's what that second command did was set up the system to automatically look for um, certificates downloaded in that path, and from then on we don't have to specify the SSL, you know, uh, verify false. Now that I'm jumping over to another project here, and we'll go ahead and see how I said it's HTTPS just copied the URL there, uh, get clone, and boom, got the code. Now, normally you would get asked a password, and you can see here, you know, okay, there's all the files that we cloned. Um, you can look over here in the in GitLab and see that the files that are part of the project are, are in our thing. Normally we get asked a username and password in order to do the clone or to do any operation. Um, there's a nice little trick here, and I've stored it as a, as a code snippet. Um, so if you go to the to GitLab, um, to the main thing, let's look at the, the uh, snippets that are available. Here's one for caching HTTPS password. And this is what I did and why I didn't get prompted for a password. Is I've gone ahead and set uh, this credential helper to cache my password. So the fact that I ran uh, something just a minute ago and already put in my username and password and this bottom command says save that password for an hour so that's why I didn't have to enter a password you might get prompted for a password um, this is a way to configure a timeout and cache that password so you don't have to do it all the time 